In this video, I'm going to show how I shorten my dipstick. Now, the original dipstick tube on this LS1 motor that I've got in my 66 Corvette used to come up up to here. But because of these exhaust manifolds that I'm using that I needed for clearance around frame and steering box on the other side, why I had to relocate the dipstick tube back here and it's a little bit shorter. So now I need to shorten the dipstick itself. What I've done is by trial and error, moving this dipstick in and out and then pulling it out and checking the oil level. And I've got the, uh, you know, fresh oil in it. I put six quarts, which is what it calls for with the filter, with the Holly oil pan that I've got. Why I found the exact location where it registers full. And then I'm measuring this distance from the top of the dipstick tube, right to the bottom of the dipstick where it seats on there and it measures three and three quarters of an inch. So I need to shorten that dipstick three and three fourths of an inch. If you notice right there, there's a little pin, like a roll pin, that goes through the plastic handle, through the metal part of the dipstick to hold it in place. So this is gonna be an easy job. I'm just gonna drive that pin out, pull this off, Measure three and three quarters of an inch down, drill a new hole, slide it back up, you know, cut it off, slide it back up in there, put the pin in, and I should be at the exact length I need. This is a spring-loaded center punch I'm using. And then I'm finding the exact right size drill. Okay, it looks like that's it right there. That's an 82 thousandths diameter drill. So now I'll just come down here and punch a hole right in there. Now we can just slide this up in there, get the hole lined up right there. Let's see if I can get this pin started. Just like that. And it looks like it came straight from the factory like that. So now we'll stick it down in here. And I'm right on the full level. So it doesn't get any easier than that. And this should work on most LS Chevy engines and probably most modern day engines if they have dipstick of this configuration why that's the easiest way to shorten them and like I say you end up with a factory look.